Tessellations are a great way to combine art and math since they demonstrate some interesting geometric properties of shapes and result in unique images that are full of creative potential. They look cool and they're easy to make. We can call tessellations patterns or tiles. Tessellated images show up in nature and in designs around us. Here are a few examples of them. We can color them or draw more pictures in them. M.C. Escher is a famous artist who has used this to create amazing detailed drawings that fit together perfectly. To make your own, you'll need a pencil, scissors, paper, tape, a black marker, and things to add color like crayons or paint. A tessellation is a pattern of repeated images. It can be made of any shape repeated in a picture, fitted together so that there is no space between the different images, and it could continue infinitely or forever. Any shape can be worked into a tessellation. Some are regular, meaning they have the same number of sides and angles. The sides are all the same length, and the angles are all the same degree, and these are called regular polygons. Irregular shapes can have a different number of angles and sides. The sides don't all have to have the same length. Angles don't all have to be the same degree. There are different methods we can use to tessellate shapes. We'll look at three, sliding, mirrored, and rotational. The sliding tessellation works by sliding the shape over and copying it. The shape faces the same way in each repetition. With the whole picture filled, you can color it or draw in the shapes to make it more interesting. Start with a square piece of paper. Draw some areas to cut out of the square. Put each piece on the opposite side of the square and tape it down. Then, put it on your paper, trace it, and slide it over to trace again. With the page filled up, we can either color it as it is or draw details and make it more interesting. Mirrored tessellations are made by taking one portion of the shape that we want to repeat and flipping it over. For this project, we'll draw shapes that connect one corner of a square to the corner diagonally opposite it. By repeating the pattern this way, we can see that the image has been duplicated or flipped over. Start with the square again. Carefully draw areas that you want to cut out, and this time, Flip them over and tape them to the side of the square that's opposite to where they were cut. Trace the shape and then turn it to fit again until the page is full. Rotation tessellations are a little like mirrored tessellations. We'll draw an area to cut on one side of the square and rotate it clockwise, setting it against the side right next to it. On the opposite side of the square, we'll draw an area to cut, rotate it counterclockwise, and then set it against the side right next to it. A point in a shape where two lines meet and form an angle is called a vertex. When we fit the shapes together to trace them, we can see that they rotate around the points at the corners, or the vertices, of the square. We can make our own rotational tessellations by following these steps.
You can see cool patterns starting to form, and if you color in the pictures, you can make a nice looking pattern out of them. Use your imagination. What do you see in these shapes?